is a good morning already. Gracious me almighty. All right. <laughs> oh my goodness. Started late, got kerfuffled because uh, apparently uh, I'm not streaming to my Facebook pages. There's some issue, so... Hopefully we're live on YouTube. I'm going to have to pull that up and make sure. Good morning, Frederick. Today is Thursday, May 30th. I'm your host, Danny Gurry. I'm trying to do too many things at once, which is never a good thing. So we're just going to get things started. Hope you're having a great day. Hope you're having a good Thursday. All right, Everything Frederick Live on YouTube hit 304 subscribers. I really think we can get to 500 by June 15th. Only 196 more. Come on, we've all got friends who are on YouTube. If not, have them set it one up. It's easy. Uh, with 100,000 people plus around Frederick, we haven't even scratched the searches. surface. So help if you can. And I'm going to give away a bunch of Maryland Lottery scratch-offs to a bunch of subscribers when we hit our goal of 500. So there is incentive for you to share. Also, not only sharing YouTube channel on your socials and scratch Please just scroll through a few of the videos, give them a like or a comment. This is as important uh, as the subscription because it shows the platforms we've got some engagement. And the goal is to get to 1,000 by September. So the more you like and comment, the more YouTube, Facebook, and all the platforms show the videos to more followers because you know how it is. They tamp everything down and show streams and, and, and content to about 1% of the people who like pages. So I really appreciate it. I appreciate you doing the hard work on that side, but it is free and a lot of people ask, hey, what can I do to help? That is the biggest thing I need right now other than advertisers. So if you know of anybody who wants to advertise or sponsor the program, please let me know. We've got a lot of great packages for them. All right, on the show today, you're gonna meet Robin Wheat from Wish which is women inspiring, supporting, and helping. And if you have a teenaged daughter or girl in your life, you are going to be interested in this afternoon retreat with a wonderful speaker that we're going to talk about. I also visit Stacy at the Frederick Floral Bar. Wait until you see how cute her shop is in downtown Frederick. And Gail from the Maryland Lottery pops in for an update on some local winners and new games. And finally, number two, Damian Daniels, Mama Cone's favorite player, is going to be joining us any time now uh, on the stream. They are having their shoot-around before their game tonight in Albany against the Patroons. So we're going to get started, and we will jump in as soon as he joins us. Let's go. Frederick is sponsored by We Help You Move. Whether you're moving across the street or across the country, Nicholas and his team of moving experts can make the whole thing easy. Maybe I need Nicholas and his team of experts to help make my whole thing easy. I don't know. Uh, we Help You Move is veteran owned and a supporter of the Frederick community. And we're putting it out there for that Montana move. It's one of the states Nicholas hasn't moved someone to or from. So if you know of anybody or you see, hey, we're moving from Montana, please uh, let Nicholas know. All right, weather today, sunny with some clouds, clouds later forming a high of 75. Nice day for Live at 5. Tomorrow, sunny and 77. Sounds perfect. Uh, weekend, Saturday, partly cloudy with a high of 83. And Sunday looks cloudy with some p.m. showers and a high of 79. I think someone told me yesterday it's rained 60% of the weekends in 2024 so far, but the forecast is really accurate. So go ahead, make those plans, get outside, and just be prepared for anything because it is Maryland, and that's what we got to do. All right, we're going to talk about our giveaways. Oh, let me run this, scroll this banner across because we got tons. Just added a new giveaway as well. So, of course, we've still got Met. 
And if you text MET to 888-465-2944, you'll go see the show which opens tomorrow, Head Over Heels. You can go see that on Friday night and we got plans for you then. So text MET to that number or text EPIC to get the $25 off the car detailing. Text NAILS for $25 off at CK Nails. Text FLOAT for $25 off any service at Lightside Floats. Text GOAT for two free tickets to GOAT Yoga at Crystal's Funny Farm. That is this Sunday. And you can go hang out with the goats and the donkey and, oh my gosh, you're going to have a ball. You know, as I said, when I was visiting her, it's not all about the yoga. It's all about the goats. They are adorable. Uh, rock, text rock. If you have a kid who would like to spend a week at the summer camp at Let There Be Rock School, there are several different sessions and you can choose which one you want. And new, just add it. Text RIDE and you can get a RIDE wristband at Thermont Fireman's Carnival, which starts in June. And I have five of those to give away, so text RIDE if you'd like the RIDE wristband. That saves you 20 bucks right now if you buy it in advance or $20 if you, or $25 if you purchase on the night. All right, speaking of winning, Let's hear what's happening at the Maryland Lottery. Let's talk with Gail. She uh, has some great news. I have Gail from the Maryland Lottery headquarters coming live to give us some updates on what's happening with the Maryland Lottery. Yes, we always have so many exciting things going on here. We have a couple new games and promotions I wanted to talk about first, and then we can talk about a few things we discussed last time. We have... A new Gold Rush 7's family of scratch-offs. So those are tickets ranging from $1 up to $20. Okay. With top prizes, the $1 ticket has a $1,000 top prize. The $20 ticket has a $1,000,000 top prize. Mm. And here is the ticket. So Ooh. that's the $20 ticket. They all will have the same Gold Rush theme. So you can choose how much you want to spend, just a dollar or up to $20 on that game. Right. Awesome. Also, we have a cool new promotion. It's the NASCAR Powerball Playoff. Promotion. Okay. <laughs> Buy a Powerball ticket, winning or non-winning, you can enter it into My Lottery Rewards, which is our free rewards program. So if you're not a member, join. It's easy. You can win cool prizes. We have the Powerball tickets. You enter them in. You can choose then if you want to opt into this promotion for the chance to win cash prizes and you have the chance to win a VIP trip to the NASCAR Championship Weekend in Phoenix. I mean, I tell you, the NASCAR is like one of the largest sporting events watched in, in this country. So I think there'll be a lot of people interested in that one. Right. And even if you're not a big NASCAR fan, you still get a trip out of it. Oh, true. Course, so Absolutely. Let's see. So last time I was on, we talked about the Big Spin. It had just launched in August. That was this ticket here. It's quite pretty. It's still mm, bright, yeah. colorful. Uh, we've had a bunch of winners since we last spoke. We've had a few come in that have spun the big wheel. And that is, we have eight tickets out there for the big spin wheel. You come in, spin the wheel, and you can win up to $250,000. Wow, that's, that's exciting. exciting. And I thought, I think you said the lowest prize, like even if you didn't get much, was was it $25? $10. So if you, if you, get, the, um, if you get the digital spin symbol on your scratch off, scan the ticket, and you'll win anywhere from $10 to $250. Okay, but or, the... If you don't win the cash prize, the other option is you'll get the congratulations. You've won a big spin. Please make an appointment to come to Lottery Headquarters message. And there's eight of those. There were eight of those out there when the ticket began. And there's still Yeah, but I left. thought you said on that one, the lowest spin number, you're guaranteed to at least win. If you spin the big wheel, guaranteed $50,000. 50000 Yes. So yeah. 50000 to $250,000. So wow. I no mean, matter what, that... if you come and spin the wheel, you're going to walk away with a yes. lot of money. That's, That's worth a trip, trip to Baltimore, Baltimore for sure. sure. Yes. And we also talked about last time the Cash Pop draw game. It was our new draw game, which doesn't happen too often. As easy as they come, you pick one number, one from 15, and we do drawings four times a day. And if your number comes out for the drawing that you have on your ticket, you automatically win cash, and you only have to bring pick one number 
That's, That's so crazy, crazy to me. I, I'm gonna have. I'm. I told you earlier. My son's birthday is coming up, so I'm gonna buy him a couple of these tickets. And I just. It's hard to wrap your head around the whole right. thing. Even it seems too simple. I know, and it is though. You know, people want to just play it easy. Just pick one number. You don't have to think yeah. too hard. Pick your favorite number from one to fifteen and see what happens. Love it. Love it and so much. Yeah. Speaking of winning, we've recently had. Uh, last week we had a couple winners. Winners from Frederick including a top prize $250,000 winner on this jumbo cash ticket. Oh so, my gosh. Another pretty ticket, pink and purple. Yes. This is a $10 ticket, top prize 250000 and one of them went to um, a man who chose to remain anonymous from Frederick. And nice. Other, Do we yes. know what store sold it? Yes, that one was at the Sheets on Buckystown Pike. Ooh, right by the FSK Mall, I think. That's awesome. Yep, and then we also, if bonus match five is more your speed, we had a $50,000 bonus match five winner, also from Frederick last week, and that ticket was sold at Waverly Beer and Wine. All right. What Do you know what our luckiest store is? I wish I did. <laughs> I know a lot of people, once they hear about a store that sells a winning ticket, will go there in hopes that they are still... Lucky. Yeah. Of course, it's all random. So I know. Yeah. No I know it really doesn't really know. matter, but but yeah, everybody has their different ways of uh, deciding. Yeah. Yeah. Win. Exactly. Well, you know, it's how everybody talks about California being the winningest state in the Powerball. So right, and of course, it happens to be that California is one of the largest states. Largest. So right. <laughs> more people exactly. are playing there, so they tend to exactly. have more winners. All right, Gail. Well, we appreciate the updates. Check MarylandLottery.com, MDLottery.com, I think, right? right? MDLottery.com. You can get the app, download that in your app store, all free. Uh, register so that you can keep track of everything you've got, your tickets, those second chances, all those great things, all free to you. And you can play, those kiosks are awesome at the sheets and grocery stores and things like that. Makes it so simple not only to get your tickets, but you can redeem scratch offs. And it's so simple to do. So. It is. And a lot of times people, you know, would rather just go into the, buy it from the machine than talking. To yeah. People. So it makes it easy. You don't have to. Talk well, you to make anyone. sure you get what numbers you actually selected. So that's a good thing. Right. But uh, all right. Well, we appreciate it. We'll look forward to our next update with you coming soon. Gail from the Maryland Lottery. Thank, thank you. you. All right. Want to thank Gail. And I know Damien is jumping on. I. As soon as I hit that video to go, I'm having a great day today. I tell you, it's going to be wonderful. As soon as I hit the go, uh, he jumped off. He's not on right this second. Let me just see if I, oh, there he is. Hello, number two. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. Are you guys in Albany now? Yes, ma'am. We are. All right. So have they turned on the air conditioning? Uh, no, not yet. <laughs> uh, last night we had practice in. It's pretty hot in there, so. I know, I know. I was. I think they're just trying to sweat you guys out. Mm -hmm. um, all right, big game tonight. We are four and zero against the Patroons, but I think they they have nothing to lose, right? By coming hard at us. Mm -hmm. What do you think uh, we need to do this game just to shut it down and come back to Frederick with that win? I think we really just need to play our game. Uh, focus on defense. Uh, rebound uh, and run in transition when we can and get easy buckets and I think uh, that'll work in our favor. Yeah, for sure. And I think, look, I think we're at a great spot. The team seems to have amazing cohesion considering we've had some new players join over the last several weeks and it doesn't seem to have upset uh, the team dynamic at all, which is excellent. Um, last game you guys played there on Sunday was a little close for my liking. It had me, uh, I, I was having heart palpitations. How did you guys feel during that game? Uh, we came out strong. Uh, we felt good. We had a good start. Um, we kind of had a couple of lapses, uh, during the, the middle of the game. Um, but we ended up coming out on top at the end and pushing through. Yeah, for sure. I think, you know, sometimes, you know, I mean, every team's got it, right? Just a little downplay, a couple of turnovers, and right. that momentum shifted a little bit. And obviously, you're away and in a gym that's hot and awful. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we want to get you guys that win to come back to Frederick. So, tonight, 
Uh, fans can watch at tbl.com, just $5 for the one game. And then no matter win or lose, we're hoping a win, obviously, you guys are going to come back to Frederick, play on Saturday. As long as you win both games, then you can rest on Sunday to get ready for the next round next right. week, right? Mm-hmm. Awesome. Yes, what What is one thing you'd like all the people of Frederick to know about the Flying Cows and, and where you guys are at this point? I mean, does this surprise you that, that we're finishing very strong this year and, and heading into the playoffs, or did you expect this all along? I actually uh, expected this from our team, <laughs> just from the players we've had, uh, the previous players we had, and the uh, coach we have and Coach Air Corporal. Um, he's a great coach, and he's the winningest, winningest coach in the TBL. So all he does is win. So that's yes. one reason I came. So yeah. I was expecting no, nothing less but to win. Yeah, same. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think he really had a plan all along, and I think uh, it was very smart to bring him here to Frederick. And we're so glad that he is here and brought you guys along with him. Look, have a great shoot around. Mm-hmm. Uh, rest up, play well tonight, and uh, we look forward to seeing you back at the barn on Saturday, 7 p.m. at Hood College. Get your tickets now, goflyingcows.com. This is number two, Damian Daniels, Mama Cone's favorite player on the cows. <laughs> Have an awesome day and a safe trip back, and we'll see you Saturday. Thank you, you too. Pack the barn. Yes, we will. Thanks, Damian. All right. Yes, we need to pack the barn for Saturday. These guys are working hard for us. And if you want to, the stream, you can watch it, tbl.com. Like I said, it's $5 uh, for the game. Um, You can uh, enjoy their uh, PA announcer. And and they don't have an MC like me at uh, Albany. Uh, But uh, you'll you'll get a kick out of it. So uh, we will... Be watching that game this evening. Okay, we're going to take a quick break, and then we're going to talk to Stacy from the Frederick Floral Bar and Robin Wheat, who has a great event for teen girls, and that is coming up right after these two messages. Elevate your next party with Dreamscape Slumber Events. Over 12 themes and customization available for kids, teens, and adults to enjoy. Don't have the space? We have solutions for that, too. Search Dreamscape Slumber Events on Facebook. Happening in Frederick is sponsored by Taco Bar. It's Berea Thursday at Taco Bar, located in West Point Plaza on Route 40, right between Route 40 and Alternate 40. Berea is slow-cooked shredded beef served in a variety of ways. The most common ones on tacos with melted cheese and paired with consomme, which is the beef broth made from the same Berea juices. You can get a Berea taco, queso Berea, pizza Berea, Torta Berea and Berea fries, plus more. But it's only available on Thursdays at Taco Bar because it takes them so long to get the meat juicy and cooked to perfection. So head over to Taco Bar and you can uh, visit their website, tacobar1.com. All right, if you want to know what's happening in Frederick, you know where to go, but a lot of people do not. So when you see someone post on social media that they don't know what's happening in Frederick, tell them there is a calendar. It is a really easy bit.ly link, but uh, you can just tell them to text calendar to 888-465-2944. We do post the calendar at promocircus.com. If you go to promocircus.com, you will see the calendar 
under everything Frederick live and events. You'll see it. Promocircus.com is where you can go to always see a copy of the calendar. All right, let's see what is happening. Oh my gosh, I added a ton of events yesterday. Uh, and uh, thank you all for forwarding them to me and making sure I have them. Uh, easiest way to view is to click on that agenda view because that gives you each day. But you can look at more and more events every single day are popping up. Tonight, obviously, a live at five. Looks like it's going to be a great evening. Uh, the Players Band, which is Jamaican, Ska, and Reggae. Uh, Sabor de Cuba and Cooking with Grease. So we got Grease and Cuba uh, battling it out in food trucks up the back. Brewer's Alley has the beer, but there is a tap takeover from Idiom Brewing Company. That means they'll usually bring one or two of their beers up to uh the beer tent the wine is by atomic 97 beer and wine you have cocktails available from mcclintock and 10th ward all of the beverages just six dollars each you do need your tokens though so you're going to want to stop at the token chicks first and uh get your tokens i suggest taking cash the cash line is always faster uh, but of course they do take credit cards as well six dollars to get in you must be 21 and up to attend all right first saturday is this weekend saturday june 1st uh come by the home of everything frederick and more i will be out there with mama cone from 11 to 2. uh we'll have tons of great stuff today photos with princesses fairy hair all kinds of good fun plus i'll be handing out magnets and stickers uh if you have if you make a purchase um also i've got some other incentives to uh give you free magnets and free stickers maybe just text the text line and i'll be able to give you one of those too uh so that is saturday at tons and tons of events uh you it, it, again if you know somebody who says there's nothing to do in frederick they are crazy most of these events are right in and around frederick I have posted a few that are on the outskirts that are fun things that I think Fredericktonians would want to go to. All right, Sunday as well, you can go to the farmer's market. You can go back to everything Frederick and more at 401 North Market Street. I've also been adding some of the food trucks. Uh, also, you'll see here, I think I have, I thought I added, maybe it starts next week. Uh, 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 shaved i coat Kotai kids shaved ice the organic shaved ice i've added their fridays i think they're at the frederick airport that might start next week so uh if you're a food truck and you're watching send me where you're gonna be and i will post here so that again people have a place one stop to go to find out everything that is happening uh early next week oh monday june 3rd get your tickets sip and arrange flowers with ori webster that's happening at the home of everything frederick and more 401 north market street learn how to make gorgeous flower arrangements from the pro ori webster from ori's custom florals it's just 65 dollars you can pay the night of just register so we know you're going to come and you get to obviously keep whatever you create. It's going to be wonderful. He's going to bring all the flowers. You're going to take home a gorgeous bouquet. And uh, we'd love to see you out there for that event. That is Monday. I think I might have to take Mama Cone to that. That's going to be fun. And we love flowers. Flowers make you happy. Um, and then uh, early next week, you can see more uh, carnivals. Uh, Wednesday, June 5th. Is that the last day for FCPS? That's what I have on the calendar. And of course, we've got our Scott Key Center prom that day. If you want to volunteer, we'd love to have you. All right, to see the links and details to these and all the other events, just text calendar to 888-465-2944 or visit promocircus.com and click on everything Frederick Live. All right. Ooh, got through that. All right, speaking of great events and uh, good stuff, let's talk about the Feel Good Files.
speaking of carnivals, the Thermont Firemen's Carnival opens June 17th through the 22nd with the parade on the 20th. Pre-sale ride tickets are now on sale, just $20. You can purchase them in uh, Woodsboro Bank. Everything is in Thermont. Woodsboro Bank in Thermont, Weiss Mar Wise Markets in Thermont. I I've said Weiss my whole life. It is so hard for me to change that to Wise. Wise Market in Thermont, as well as Thermont Country Kitchen. They have the pre-sale ride bracelets for you, just $20. It's $25 on the night, or of course, you can win them by texting RIDE. And I'll put that back up too, just in case you don't know the number. All right, Robin Wheat is part of an organization called WISH, Women Inspiring, Supporting, and Helping. And she had an idea, she's had it for years actually, to be a support to teenaged girls. And I think you're really gonna love this. Let's meet Robin Wheat. I am here with Robin Wheat, one of the members of WISH, which is a nonprofit organization that does a lot of great in this community of Frederick. Mm -hmm. And you have an event coming up. This is for teens, correct? Right, correct. And what are you guys doing? Uh, so WISH is Women Inspiring, Supporting, and Helping. Mm -hmm. And um, so it's a women's group in Frederick. We meet once a month in the mornings, and then we have outings and things in the evenings yeah. like, during the months. And just being a WISH member, I always am in the meetings thinking, gosh, I wish that my teenage daughter could hear this, all these presenters and things that come to our group. And so I've had this thought for a couple of years about doing a, t a teen retreat and kind of bringing in those girls because they can they can hear these things and just really benefit from them. So we're doing, yeah, a, a teen retreat. It's going to be um, from 11 to 2 on June 8th. And it's going. we have a presenter coming in. Her name is Julie Cassidy. Mm -hmm. And she uh, does some life coaching things for um, a life coaching business. Yeah. And she's going to come out and present to the girls about um, just the bombardment of social media and incoming you know just trash yeah that they hear all the time yeah from all that stuff and just kind of breathe life into them and do like a mindfulness um just kind of bring a piece of activity them and remind yeah them who they are yeah so where is this happening um it's happening in warman's mill okay. at the village center apartments oh, okay it's at 2470 merchant street and we'll be having it in the media room there oh very good so how many girls will you have can you, t can you guys do? Um, we've capped it at 25 and we've sold a little over half of those tickets. Um, we don't want the, the cost to prohibit anybody, but there is um, a $20 fee mm -hmm. and that'll include lunch. Oh, wow. And, yeah, so it'll be a And this, so it's open, uh, you think the material is good for girls at what age group? Um, I would say teenagers, uh, just general, mm. really, because I think if somebody hears that kind of uh, relates to them, we don't want to, limit it to anybody that right. could benefit from that conversation. Um, and then mentor moms and 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 mentors and moms um, are welcome to come too. Because okay. we could all hear this message. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't think you're ever too too old or young or whatever actually to try to rewire the brain for positive thoughts and, you know, again trying to filter out the things kids are seeing. What have you seen in your own daughter that not concerns you, but just the world as it is and an influence. I have a teenage daughter as well, and it's um, it's difficult. I've been dealing with things for her since kindergarten, coming sure. home at kindergarten and saying somebody yeah. called me ugly or somebody mm -hmm. yep. said this or that or, you know, why are you wearing that? Those yeah. sorts of things. And unfortunately, as women, I think sometimes we replay those loops in our head yes. our yes. entire yes. lives. So. Yes. What have you heard from some of these speakers that you think, you know what, this is really important? Um, probably just reminding your, well, building a foundation first, um, if you don't have that already, but also um, just reminding you, um, you know, I'm a very spiritual person, so I'm always reminded of who I am through mm -hmm. Christ. Mm. Um, but I, and so that could be for these girls, but it's also um, that they're, they're powerful, awesome people. And just because somebody said you're ugly or you're whatever happened, that's not who you are. That's not no. who, and for me, it's easy because it's like, 
Christ made you who right. you are. Right. Um, but for whatever reason, you know, there's a you need to find that peace about you because the world it doesn't change. No. You know, I'm in my 40s and it doesn't change. <laughs> well, I'm in my so, 50s and so it doesn't change, is, right? Yeah. Until you change the mindset. Right, so right, right. when when somebody says something to me like, "Oh, I can't believe." you know, you said that or did that or you let that picture go out. I'm like, who cares? Right. I don't right. I don't care. Yes. I, I know I know what I my intention was. Right. I know where I am in my life, but it's hard. That sure. at 11, 12, 13, 15, yeah. 19 is not so easy right. because you're it's just you're right. The world that we're in is well, just they're building they're building their self Still. Maybe yeah. they don't even know who they yeah. are. Oh yeah, probably um, many yeah, don't. So. And kind of, nor should they really. Yeah, they sure. should know who they are at a basis right. and what the principles that they have. And right. and like you say, if you don't have those things, rewiring and trying to, that's a, that's a mindful act, right? right that we yes. all have to take to 1, yeah. rework the things we say to ourselves all the time. And yeah. having those tools. Yeah, and having the how, tools. How to even do that, who to even call. Right. Um, maybe sometimes you just need a friend that'll that'll remind you yeah. of who you are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And those are all good mm -hmm. to have, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Okay, so this event is coming up again June 8th. June 8th, yep, from and 11 to 2. 11 to 2. And warm and, warm and smell. smell. Yeah. Um, the WISH website has the QR codes. And, and we'll make right. sure that's yep. on the yep. screen as we run this. But okay. look, I think this is a great program for any young female teenager probably best you get lunch 20 bucks yeah, and you get to learn some stuff about how to take your life forward without worrying about what everyone else is saying thinking doing buying right just because yes. you don't have the stanley you're still a great yeah. person yeah. gosh that thing is crazy mm -hmm. yep, we got and those. the pressure yeah <laughs> yeah the pressure for for kids to keep up or be a part or yeah. feel like they fit in and it's it's a lot yeah, it's a it really lot is. for young girls and so especially boys too really mm -hmm. honestly but this this is for the girls this one here maybe another one will come for the boys but sign up I'll make sure the link is on the website it would be a great afternoon and maybe making some new friends yeah, and absolutely. being amongst people who want to um, move forward in a positive way Great way to kick off the summer. I want to thank Robin and the ladies from Wish. Yes. All right, there it is. You can search on Eventbrite for that event so that uh, you can sign up your teen daughter or if you want to attend yourself. Wonderful event, and I think it's so important, especially this day and age, for young girls to feel confident and uh, secure in who they are. All right, one more quick break, and then you're gonna see the Frederick Floral Bar and meet Stacy. She's wonderful, and you are gonna love this shop right after this. All in One Events is Frederick's number one source for event rentals and entertainment. Please visit us on the web at www.aioeventgroup.com or call 1-888-727-8902 for more information. All right, a and Construction is a local and award-winning woman and minority-owned business. It's located right here in Frederick. Sandra knows all about this community. That should make you feel pretty good. Give her a call. If you have noticed any of your roofing, maybe you have some leaks, maybe some siding has lifted because of this heavy winds we've had, or maybe you just need some new windows. Uh, gutters, we have some issues over here. I might have to give Sandra a call so she can check them out for us. I noticed the water spilling out over top of the gutter, which is never a good sign. Uh, she also does patios and decks. Call 301-703-2157 or email info at ansconstruction.net. And you can remind her that you've seen, you saw her on Good Morning Frederick, and she will pass through that special offer, which is $750 off any roof or siding replacement or $50 off any roof repairs. Please give her a call or send her an email and let her know you saw her on Good Morning Frederick. I appreciate that. 
All right, Stacy has brought her creativity and style right to downtown Frederick with the Frederick Floral Bar, a place to create and have fun with flowers. And oh my gosh, how you can't have any more fun than having fun with flowers. Here's Stacy. Stacy, I'm on Market Street at the Floral Bar where Landis Jewelers used to be. She's got a great sign out front. I'm gonna show you the out front anyway. Welcome to Frederick, first of all. Thank You're you. a new, newly transplanted. I am. And you opened a business here, which we yes. love. Yes. And you are a wedding planner, an events person. Mm -hmm. uh, you've done large scale events. Yes. Event and planning and design. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, which is, you know, that, that's a big, big thing. So the floral bar, though, these mm -hmm. are like the hot item, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So explain to me what people will experience when they come in here, what they will be doing. Well, we offer a few different things. Um, obviously, we have the floral bar. That's our biggest, you know, point. Um, we bring in people to do your build your own bouquet bar. That can be a walk in basis. We have workshops where we teach different techniques for building things like floral crowns, bouquets, centerpieces. Um, you can also reserve the space for a private party like a church group or a girl's night out or a bridal shower. Um, and then everything gifts, anything gift oriented, yeah. um, special occasion flowers. If you need something for your anniversary, or a friend's birthday, we're here for that. Okay, so, so a floral bar is basically you come in here and you mm -hmm. bring out stems. Yes, I have a flight of flowers and it's whatever's in season that week and whatever okay. we have in stock and they get a flight and I can either teach them how to do it or just let them on their own demise. Okay. And we'll wrap it up and you get to take it with you. Okay, so how, how many flowers in a flight? So typically we do six different jars, okay. um, but the jars are full of like focal flowers, fillers, greens. Oh, um, so they're, okay. They're so it's already size. got, yeah. yeah. Okay. Very cool. And sometimes I'm extra generous depending <laughs> on the day and I'm like, here, let me throw in a few more, or like yeah. some garden peonies or something. Fun. Okay. And you can just walk in and do that at any time. Yes, you can. I do ask if you have a larger group to oh, sure. just try to give us a heads up and call us for a reservation or just say, hey, we're coming up with six of us in three hours. Um, but no, anytime they can walk in and I can take up to 11 people. So. Oh, wow. That's yeah. so cool. What do you find? Is it hard to watch people dick? do their own thing for Actually, you? Actually, it's really fun. I'm I, I think a control it's freak. I'd be like, oh, I wouldn't necessarily know. And it, yeah. yeah, I mean, I definitely will step in if I see that they're struggling. Um, oh, right, yeah. But I tell people not to compare themselves to a professional florist, obviously not to each other, and just to have fun with it. And if you don't like it, we can take it apart and start over again. Yeah, yeah. Um, some people do want a little more help than others, so I might come in and adjust some stems and, yeah. you know, make it look appropriate before we wrap it up. What was it about flowers that got you excited and you said, this is what I want to do? I mean, they're gorgeous. Obviously, I love nature. I love color, texture. I like making people smile yeah. and flowers just bring that all to the table. Yeah, it kind of checks all those boxes, it doesn't does. it? Yeah. Um, what, how, how long have you been doing the, the floral stuff, like designing yeah. and all that? The floral design aspect uh, really came about in around 2014. Okay. So about 10 years now. Um, I've been doing event planning though since I was about 18 to 20. Okay. I, I grew up in the industry, so event planning is where I started and then it just kind of Shifted. blew into event design and yeah. then flowers. So. Yeah. Well, weddings are, I mean, what a great day to be a part of, right? Of right. somebody. You yeah. Know, even with all the stress and, and I'm sure even for, as a, a floral person, it's just, you know, florist. Yeah. Um, Talk about making people smile. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> for sure. Um, we are doing a wedding planning 101 workshop okay. and a wedding planning design workshop. So okay. we will be doing those where we can teach people how to make their own items. Oh, nice. Most people don't really want to do that because no. it's a lot of work. Um, but <laughs> hey, if you have a small wedding or a no. backyard wedding, you might want to. And it's going to be photographed a bajillion times, right. right? You want it to look perfect. Right. You were telling me you, well, and on your wall, you have a dried flower wreath. Yes. And so that's We got all different cool. styles of those. Um, they last up to three years. That's the cool thing about dried flowers. 
unless you put them in direct sun, they're about a year and a half or okay. so. Um, and dried flowers are really making a big comeback, uh, especially for weddings. Okay. Uh, because they do last forever. Yeah. And, and your bridesmaids can keep them or your groomsmen. And, you know, they're a lot of fun. Doesn't mean they're any less expensive. Right. <laughs> Let me point right. that out. But they're a lot of fun. And I've been getting a huge response. And people are really, yeah. really looking forward well, to Well, I've that. noticed that on the wreath that I'll show them, um, it's still colorful. It still is. It's very color. colorful. And I could pick a million different colors to match your style and textures. Yeah. So um, anything they want from centerpieces to boutonnieres, bouquets. Of course, we have our wreaths. Um, those are a big hit right now. Anything dried flowers. And then we're going to have the, the bars so they can pick their own right. stems and make their own dried flower bouquet or I can do it for them. Yeah. So. so if somebody is interested in checking you out, obviously they can come to you on South Mark uh, on Market Street. Yep. Sorry, North Market Street. Um and south. yeah. Yeah, wait, wait, 27 South. Oh yeah, we are still South Market. We south are. Market. I'll make sure that the uh, the address is up there. I crossed yep. the bridge but not Patrick Street. So yep. South Market Street. Um, and then your website, obviously, they can go to as well. Can they right. book direct on their, your website for reservations? Or they just... can. I'm, I'm almost complete with the website, okay. it, which is the thefrederickfloralbar.com. Um, also, Instagram messaging or emailing us, the Frederick Floral Bar at Yahoo. Um, website's almost complete. I had a lot of projects. Yeah. Instagram's a great way to keep up with okay. what we're doing. Awesome. Um, and then if you're interested in the wedding work, that is yourstorybookwedding.com. Oh, so man. That's where you can really see, you know, full galleries and, and yeah. wedding specific. Yeah. What has been, so when did you get to Frederick? I got here in late June of 2023. So yeah, you've been here just a <laughs> yeah, year now. 11 months. That's great. Yes. And what do you, what have you liked about it so far? I love the community. I love that it's green and has water. Yeah. I came from yeah. Southern California, so we didn't have yeah. quite as much greenery and yeah. water. Uh, I just love the the warmth and embracement of the arts, the culture, the people. Yeah. You know, yeah. everybody's been very welcoming. So um, that's just really nice coming from people that I don't even know that are very supportive. Yeah, yeah, it so. is a pretty cool town. We're pretty proud of it. Um, and, yeah. you know, we think that this is going to be a really fun hit. Great for uh, maybe a little bachelorette party yeah. or a girls' night out. and Mommy, mommy and me have mom, teen oh, night coming up. Teen Yes, yeah, so trying to spread the love to the teens that awesome. need something fun to do. Yes, that's yeah. really great. And if you want Stacy's guidance and advice, all you have to do is reach out yeah. to her through her soon to be completed website, right. Instagram, Facebook. Or come on in. Just stop by the shop yeah. and see her. It is so cute in here. You're going to love it. Stop by the floral bar right here in Frederick. Thank you. Bye. Awesome. Oh, how great is that spot? And the mommy in me, I'm thinking maybe me and my mom will go in and make a bouquet as well. My goodness, flowers are all around us. All we have to do is look and write on South Market Street, cutest shop ever. There are some parking spots right next to the shop, which is convenient. They are designated for Frederick Floral Bar. So make sure if you're heading down there, you can park in one of those spots. But go visit Stacy. She's wonderful. And we just love everything about that shop. Everything totally about it. So go visit her. All right, coming up tomorrow, Katie from Fit for Mom talks about helping moms at every stage of motherhood. She is so great too. And Jennifer talks about decoding dyslexia and links, EDU. And she has great advice for parents, for those that know that their child is dyslexic, or maybe those who are just concerned that they may be. So you're gonna wanna join the show tomorrow at 9 a.m. I am gonna hop off of here, boy. Today has been a little train wreck. I think I got myself too distracted before I started. So focus is key. All right, we're on all the socials. So when you have a minute, please search, subscribe, follow, like, do all the things. It really isn't just for me. It is certainly to give our businesses and nonprofits a better reach 
to reach more people and we need to let everybody in Frederick know that we are here for them. So, uh, all right, have an awesome Thursday. Weather is gonna be gorgeous. I'm heading out to a live at five this evening. So if you're headed out there, let me know. I'd love to see you. Oh, I might take tomorrow off, who knows? But let's get out there, Frederick, and be great. Like I know you can be. From downtown streets.